Hi everyone, welcome to your 10th lecture in French. In this lecture, we will be teaching you how to ask questions in French. You previously learned how to introduce yourself. Don't you think it is about time that you start be asking the questions in French? So I thought that it would be a good time for you to introduce the article, what or the interrogative article in French. And here we go. It is known as the article interrogative that is in English and in French you have it So it is l'article interrogative. L'article. I told you this is an article. It is the definite article, and you join it. You join it, and it becomes l'article interrogative. Okay. I taught you this in the definite article. If you forgot or you don't remember it, make sure you go back to the previous lesson or if you're new seeing this video for the first time, make sure you go and revise the definite indefinite articles in French. So as usual we have the masculine form, the feminine form and the plural form. But the good news here is that the masculine form, the feminine form and the plural form are pronounced the same way so you have the masculine form as masculine the feminine and the plural form you have the masculine as kel this q u Ah, L. Kel. You have the plural form as Kel again, but you add an L and an R. This Kel and the plural form for the for, for the masculine plural, plural it will be Kel, pronounced the same way, but you add an S. This S. And you have the feminine form, the feminine plural form. You add an S. Okay. Um, okay, we will go with examples now. For example, you have uh, to teach you the difference between the fem masculine, feminine and the plural form. I will be taking similar examples. So you have what? book now book is masculine so you have kel kel i taught you in the previous lecture book means libre kel libre and if you have the plural form you say what this is masculine m you will say what Books. I know it doesn't make sense, but this is for your understanding for now. So it becomes Kel becomes Kel, but you add an S. The pronunciation is the same. And Libra, pronounced as Libra, you add an S. This is the masculine form. Now, what if you have the feminine form and you have to translate it into plural? You say, What? Cow. Uh, cow is uh, <laughs> cow is feminine. Okay, I know a lot of you might be thinking as to why I'm telling the translation, but it is easier for you to recall with this example of cow. So you have q u q u r l l r kel pronounced the same way. Cow means Wash, wash. 
okay in english you call it as v a c h e wash and for plural form it be what cows what cows so it becomes cow you add an s wash round the same way however you add an s so i hope you understood the basic difference between the masculine form and the masculine plural and the feminine form and the feminine plural for your understanding i'll be taking more examples now on the masculine and the feminine form but the plural i think it is uh, i hope you understood what it is what the difference so you have the i'll take example of on masculine form and you have kel as it is masculine kel a kel means what a means is what no de semil now basically you might be having some idea of what i'm saying over here kel a what no de semil which means what is your name of remember we used the in the indefinite article we used this form and it meant i told you in google translate is saying of this is where it is used of however i told you in the indefinite article that it can mean anything from some to nothing at all so it is of famil means family so what is your name of family what is your name of family means what is your surname your surname your last name that is name of the family so no over here is masculine masculine that's why you use the interrogative article kel or interrogative in french um i'll take one more example i'll ask you what is your first name so you have kel first name is also masculine a what the prenom what is your first name first name over here is masculine that's why you use the interrogative article kel and not the other one the feminine now i'll illustrate you on the feminine form the feminine interrogative article if you have nationality nationality in french is feminine a lot of you might be getting confused as to what is feminine and what is masculine i'll be taking a lecture on that in the coming uh, in the coming lectures do not worry about that but remember when i tell you for now that no is masculine and prino is masculine remember that for now and you have for the feminine form kel the feminine a votre nationality nationality which means what is your nationality what is your nationality nationality over here is feminine and that is why you use the article kel with uh, with an extra l and e or l and r one more example will be kel a water i hope i don't have to write down again the translation kel means what a means is water means your 
nationality is feminine and it is pronounced uh, I don't think I have to translate it I hope <laughs> what can a water address Kale water address means what is your address address over here is the feminine word it is a feminine word so you use kel so i this is all for this lecture i hope you understood for any doubts and queries please do not please ask it in the comments below and if you like this video please do not forget to like share and subscribe and i hope you understood the basic difference between the masculine the feminine and the plural form and i took it with examples so that you may understand thank you have a nice day